Hello everybody, this video is to give you an orientation of the learning management system that's being used for the Texas Recovery Residence Manager Training and Certification Program. If you've not ever done any online management um, uh, training, any online training, you may have some anxiety, uh, but don't worry about it. Our friends over at T3, which stands for Teach, or rather Think, Teach, and Transform, really make it easy. <clears throat> So if you are currently registered, you'll probably get an email that looks something like this, and there will be uh, a link to take you straight to the course. Uh, there will probably also be a link. You, you can't see it here, but if I were to click on the date, uh, that would likely pull it into my calendar, say if you use a Google Calendar or Apple Calendar or something like that. Uh, if you run into any uh, technology uh, uh, challenges, you can always email uh, info at thinkt3.com. Uh, and general uh, logistical questions, course questions, uh, you can email training at recoverypeople.org. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and come into the online uh, system by clicking the hyperlink. And as you can see, my system has uh, remembered or saved my username and password. So I'm going straight into my particular course. If your system has not done that, you would likely get a sign-in uh, page that will ask you for your username and, and password, and then it would bring you to this particular page. So you um, may have recognized uh, this first um, uh, section called the uh, registration questionnaire. This is what you filled out in order to qualify you for the HRSA funding. Um, but if you if we scroll down, we can start seeing that the course is laid out in several different sessions. So the, this, this first uh, uh, tabbed area is the registration questionnaire. Uh, the next is the course material. This is really kind of the, the overview. Uh, and then we start jumping down into the sessions. And you'll notice that underneath each session, there's some uh, pre-work to be done, all leading up to uh, the live webinar, which for this cohort is going to be held on Wednesday nights between 6.30 and 8 p.m. Uh, Central Time. Um, after that, um, there, if there's uh, field experience uh, opportunities, you'll find it underneath that tab. Um, each session also has a really short, easy quiz that's uh, testing your comprehension, and really what it's doing is uh, soliciting your feedback. What did you think about this particular session? Um, how can we improve it? Uh, there's also an area that has optional activities, readings, or resources. The truth is there's so much information that we could be providing you, and, and we had to really edit it down uh, to make it manageable for the training. But if you want to learn more or explore these different areas, we've added a lot of resources underneath that uh, optional activities, readings, and resource tab. And then from there, we jump into session two. Um, and if I scroll down, you can see all the way to session eight. So let's go back to the top. Uh, you have done uh, your registration qu uh, questionnaire. But let's say now you want to download, download the course guide. So I click on that, and um, in your browser, you will see the guide for this course. Uh, you can download it, or you can just scroll through. Uh, there's the table of contents. You can see it covers all eight sessions, and then a kind of an introduction or a welcome to the course. And then we'll scroll down to, uh, here is uh, session one. Uh, it's gonna list the different objectives, um, the different required activities, meaning that the prep work, um, the, uh, the live uh, Wednesday sessions, and then uh, the post quiz, uh, a, a list of optional uh, activities and readings that we had talked about. And then it rolls into session two and it just continues on like that uh, for the next uh, several um, sessions. So from this point, if you wanted to navigate forward, you could click this next button down here. Uh, if we were already further into it, there would be a button where you could click back to previous. Um, what I'm going to do is click here on lessons, and I want to go back to the course overview because I personally just kind of like seeing a global view. 
So now we're back to the global view and I'm going to scroll down a bit. Uh, we've looked at the course guide. Uh, we've also created this, uh, this really simple way of tracking field experience hours. And we wanted to get, have, give you that uh, up front so you can start documenting. If you remember to become certified, you need to document 500 hours uh, of field experience. Uh, previous experience uh, counts. Um, and if you are having difficulty uh, finding a recovery residence to gain uh, field experience with, then we can create some reasonable accommodations and find different ways uh, and different uh, places that you can really use the skills that we'll be talking about during this, uh, this curriculum so that you can embody it and then come to the, 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 the uh, communities of practice and kind of share about that. I mean, it, just, it takes a while to really embody skills. And so that's why field experience is important. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And you notice that um, it took me to the field uh, experience log page as well as downloaded, automatically downloaded a spreadsheet to my desktop. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up that there. And as you can see, it is a really simple chart. You add the dates, the description of the activities, and then just start uh, tracking your different hours. The first thing I'm going to do is save this using my name. Well, we don't need to capitalize it. Um, and I'm going to save that to my desktop. Boom. So from here, I can go in. Uh, today happens to be January 23rd, 2017. Uh, the description of the activities was uh, motivational interviewing. And I spent three hours a day cultivating that. Uh, and you would just continue um, filling in that uh, that chart in, and then at the end of the course, you'll turn this in as a way of documenting your field experience hour. So since I added something, I'm going to hit save real quick to automatically save that and I don't lose it. Um, I'm going to close this out and then um, click back over here and get a course overview again. So if you've noticed, We've finished our questionnaire. We've looked at the course guide. Uh, we've downloaded our field experience log. So now we're ready to start session one. Um, and the first pre-exercise is a video. And Welcome it, to the Recovery Residence Manager training. <laughs> it's this always video. funny. It's always funny hearing your own voice. But it's going to pull in a video from YouTube and automatically start it. Um, you can uh, watch this video, and then to go on to the next section, you just click Next. Uh, and it's a second video. I'm going to go ahead and stop it so I don't have to hear my voice. Uh, you would watch um, that video, and then click Next. Uh, there is a, uh, a PDF um, that's going to talk about the different levels of development, the recovery residence levels, development, and determination. Uh, so you can uh, download that over here uh, on the right-hand side. You can click that to download and have a copy on your desktop, or you could just read it straight in your browser. So once I read that, I can click on to the next, which is talking about role clarity. Um, I can read that chart. There is a little exercise at the end to kind of help you think through the different roles. And then you click Next. And so this is uh, prepping you or pointing where you can go uh, to listen to the live webinar. So this cohort, the webinars are, um, the first one is going to be on January 25th. And the webinars go from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, this is the URL that you would use. Uh, this URL is going to be consistent across this particular uh, cohort. Uh, so every Wednesday you, uh, evening, you'd be using that URL to log in. And to get the best audio, we're asking people to dial in to this uh, free 800-888 number. Uh, and then there is an audio pin that you enter in order to get um, the audio. So um, you can... Over, over in this section, I've already registered, uh, so it's not showing, but 
if um, I uh, I hadn't registered, it would say register, and I would just click that. I don't I don't want to click this because I don't want to cancel my reg registration. Um, so I'm gonna rather than clicking next, I'm gonna go back up here to get a course overview and scroll down where we, we last left off was um, logging on to the webinar. And you can see we've got field experience. So with each session, um, we're trying to give you opportunities for field experience. And so if we could think of some ways that you can already kind of get a jump start on your field experience, uh, we're entering it here. Um, Again, this is uh, you don't have to do any of the field experience as, as part of these eight modules, but you do have to complete the 500 uh, field hours uh, in order to get certified. Uh, they can be the field experience hours can be uh, uh, accrued through some of the exercises that we do as part of the sessions, or it could be accrued out in the field. Then you would take a, a quiz. It's a very short quiz. I mean, some of it is to, uh, to kind of make sure that you're um, um, comprehending the uh, stuff that we're, we're presenting. Um, a lot of it is to make sure that are we presenting it in a way that you can understand it. Uh, we're also going to ask some evaluation questions on, so what do you think of this particular session? What do you think of this particular course? Because we're really serious about making this the best course possible. And then finally, in each session, you'll see a list of optional activities, readings, and resources. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff. And the truth is, there's so much good information out there that we couldn't really get it into each session or into the curriculum as, as a whole. So for those that uh, find a particular uh, session interesting and want to drill down and learn more, then we give you a lot of different opportunities uh, to do that. So I'm going to get back over here to see a course overview. And you can see right after uh, the, the optional activities start session two. And as you uh, as we get close to session two, then um, similar pre-assignments and, and uh, the webinar information and the optional activities will be um, under this drop down tab. So again, if you have any uh, questions around this, feel free to email training at recoverypeople.org. Thank you.